Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I will be explaining my experience on scrolling in two different places, two different countries, two different continents. I'm going to be explaining my con my. I'm going to be explaining to you guys my experience schooling in Nigeria and schooling in the UK, specifically London. Specifically London. First, I'm just going to start with the basics of like the difference between the two places. So the first basic difference is just the amount of time you spend in secondary school. Secondary, secondary school here is from year 12. No, year <laughs> secondary school here is from year 7 to year 11 so that's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 5 years, you spend 5 years in secondary school but in Nigeria we don't do year 12, year this, year that we do GSS 1, GSS 2 GSS 3, SS 1 SS 2, SS 3 and they just, GSS just means junior secondary school and SS means senior secondary school so in Nigeria uh, Anybody can be in any class, any age, any this, any that. Anybody can be in any class. You can have a 13-year-old in SS1, and you can have a 12-year-old 12 12 in GSS3, and you can have a 15, 16-year-old in GSS1. So it wasn't like age. No, it wasn't age-specific. But here, Year seven, I think year seven is like when you're 11, 12, year eight is like when you're 13, 14. So it's, they do it by age in the UK. That's another difference. Another difference is the structure of school. I'm just going to say like the structure of school. So like when you have your lessons, assemblies, stuff like that. And I'm going to, I'm going to go into more detail later on in the video, but I'm just going to say the structure is also different and just even the way you're assessed as well like in jesus in um what's it called nigeria they do like positions let me show you my report card actually i went to royal christian college and it was located it's located in three added to 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 la it was located in three added to la papa papa Jawu. what yeah yeah, this is an example of my report card, guys. That's my school. That's the school I went in Nigeria. So in GSS 1, first term, I got 13 position out of this class of 23. That's really bad. And this is what it looks like. But in the UK, you only get like one paper. And it just says all the grades you've gotten. And it's usually based on like an assignment or a test you've done in class and yeah and after every year in nigeria we have like a exam yeah after every year we have an exam in the uk it's more relaxed we don't really get exams but you just get assessed the teacher just gives you a grade that you think you get but in my school anyway so yeah those are like the major differences now well, not major differences, but those are like the basic difference, like just the structure, the grades, everything. And yeah, so let me now go into the more fun stuff, you know. In Nigeria, the teachers don't really have like, um, what's it called? A, they don't really have a lot of resources to like help the students. I'm just going to put it that way. Is a situation where like the teacher has 30 minutes or like 45 minutes or however long a lesson is and they have to actually write all the notes on the whiteboard or blackboard wherever we had back in the days they would write they would have to write all the notes on the blackboard and it's a situation where like each lesson you probably get like five lessons each day and each lesson you write almost like five pages notes and even at the end of writing the notes, the teacher doesn't have the time to even explain. Everybody's tired. Like, even to write the notes, the teacher has to... So the board will be this big. They will split it into two. By the time the teacher finished writing there, they will now go here. And when the teacher is done, they will just rub it off. And it's like... People that are slow at writing 
And when I say they're writing here, writing here, I'm not saying like they're writing five lines. It's like proper notes, like the way you read it from a textbook, like proper, proper notes. Like you're expected to write at the speed of light because there's so much notes. And it's like here in London, like the teacher just prints up whatever that's too long to write or what like the teacher, can, the teacher can print it out you can take pictures of your board or anything like that but in nigeria you have to actually write everything or you have to pay somebody to write it for you either one it's like it's just too much and by the time the, the teacher is done writing all the stuff on the board as well like the teacher is probably tired the student is tired so explaining whatever they've written is just a myth because nobody's listening like and the teachers were just the notes were too much the teachers were the teachers weren't the best they weren't the best teachers like some teachers just just could just because just they don't know how to do their job they beat you on top of it some teachers don't know how to do their job it's like if you complain that you don't understand something instead of them to explain they'll first abuse you beat you do this do that so stuff like that just discourages people from even putting their, their hand up to say they don't understand like yeah but yet here in the uk is different from my experience anyway i wouldn't even though they don't beat you abuse you anything like that but i wouldn't put up my hand to ask any questions first of all i mean like my african accents what is uk children they love to make fun of it so it's like a situation where like every single time in class i just wanted to be quiet like i didn't want to ever participate in anything and my teachers understood they never used to ask me any questions even if they asked me and i know the answer i'll just be like i don't know or i'm not sure of the answer even though i know it i'll just be like i'm not sure especially when it's like the answer is too long and i have to explain or say my opinion it's just like yeah i don't know so yeah I would say also the assembly is very different, like very different. Here the assembly is dead. Like when I say dead, the assembly is dead. Like the assembly is so boring. In Nigeria, we had praise and worship. We had like it was praise and worship. Then we pray, then we read the, I mean, then we sing the national anthem and then say the pledge. Also the school had the national anthem, like not national anthem, but the school had the school anthem as well. So we would sing that as well. And then what else is different? We had drum, drummers in the assembly. And then sometimes in the assembly, they will actually bring out all the late comers and beat them in front of the old school, which is actually really crazy now that I'm thinking about it. It's like, they really treated us like we were goats, like we were animals. I mean, it's already bad enough that you're beating people because they're late. But it's another thing to beat somebody in front of the old school. Like, that's so embarrassing. Like, ew. Me, I was always a late comer. But because my brother, because obviously, like, all the, um, what's it called? All the seniors are the ones that, like, are in charge of all the late comers. So it's like most of the seniors there, I kind of knew them. So when I come late, it's like if I see my brother's friend, I'll just be like, oh, I'm late. Because I actually lived very far from school. I mean, the school wasn't far from my mom's shop, but the school was far from, like, very far from my school. So it's a situation where there's always Lagos traffic. And I couldn't get to school on time, or like, most of the times. So that kind of, yeah, that's kind of different as well. But here... The assembly, you only have it once a week. In Nigeria, you have your assembly like every single day. Hey, you only have it once a week and you just sit there and listen to people talk. And yeah, that's about it. And another major difference is in Nigeria. I don't know about other secondary schools, but in my secondary school, we didn't have any assignments or we hardly had any assignments. But here in secondary school, they give you assignments like no man's business. In Nigeria, I hardly had any assignments. Yeah, when you get to secondary school, assignment isn't really like all that. And in Nigeria, we call it assignment, but here they call it homework. And it's like in Nigeria, when we call it a homework, like the teachers beat us because they're like, that's not the proper term for it. Da, 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 da. I want to, I want to invent English. They call it homework, and I was beaten for saying homework. 
when it's actually just homework because it's work I do at home but then they're like in Nigeria well in my secondary school they forced everybody to call homework assignments so it was like okay assignment it is but here anytime i'm like oh have you done your assignments my friends and secondary school they're like why do you call it assignment it's homework that's like okay so yeah that's another mix up what else let me just talk about like the progress of like each subject i'm just talking, gonna talk about two subjects maths and english in nigeria when i went uh, no, actually let me start when i moved here the maths they were doing was like maths that I've done in primary five. Like, think about it. Right until like year 10, all of the stuff that we did, I've done most of it by the, by GSS1. And GSS1 is like the first year of secondary school in Nigeria. So in in like the maths um, part of like, in like maths, like they were like in London, they're behind. Like everything is much more slower. But when it comes to English, Nigeria, well, my second school anyway, like we were so behind. We were still learning phonetics, learning what is a verb, what is a noun, like all that rubbish that we should have learned in primary school. But when I got here in London, they were asking me to write a story, use, um, pro, um what's that thing? To be using, uh, what's it called? Metaphors. I was just like, me write a story i never ever write letter before thought less of story so it's just like english the english is really behind like some of the stuff that i would have to write in nigeria is like write a letter to your teacher explaining this or um tell me about yourself just like that's about it that's all the essays i ever written by jss1 and here in the year, year eight you're expected to write a letter analyze text i mean analyze your book like um like obviously you read a novel and then you have to like analyze it and then write essays they will ask you a question like relating to the book show and then you'd have to explain it and it was just it was a lot to be honest and one misconception one misconception is that school here is easier than in nigeria i get why people say that but i feel like here is really easy like here Considering, considering the fact that I migrated as well from a different country and like my knowledge and my English and like even the even down to the accent like it's really different so like it even takes a while to even for you to eat for your manjula or blogata to like adjust to the way they speak as well so it's just a situation where like even though it's easier it's harder because you're put in a different environment so yeah Another thing is the type of punishment you get. Punishment in Nigeria is like you're in a, it's like an animal. It's like here in London, you already get detention, and detention is just you sit in a room and you just be quiet. Sometimes you can even do your homework. So it's like, it doesn't really mean anything. But the only downside to the punishment here is that your parents know about it and they know why you got the punishment. But in Nigeria, if you get beaten, you get beaten and that's it. You don't have to say. So if you actually did something really bad in school, your parents don't have to know. But they wouldn't know. Only if they were like friends with one of your teachers or like they, they knew the head master or head mistress, head mistress directly. But aside from that, once you have your punishment, that's it. Like your parents don't know. But here when you get detention, when um what's it called? When it's time to sign your planner, your diary, your so every so in every secondary school they have a diary and the diary is like where you write your homework, um, anything you shall have to do for the week or like in school, or if you had like just just a diary, but like school related diary. So when you get a detention, the teacher writes the detention in the diary so you can't say you forget you forgot to go for your detention so like when it comes to your and every week after every week your um well in my secondary school anyway and in my form anyway because my form teacher was just annoying so after every week your parent has to um sign your planner let me actually show you guys an example of my planner i don't want to show you guys this one <laughs> 
So guys, this is an example of a planner, right? I'm not going to show you guys the name of my school, but I think this week we can probably tell from the logo. In case I become a big YouTuber, I just not going to say, oh, she went to this school. So this is an example of my timetable. Yeah, it's just that. And then you get your planner. So this is what I'm talking about. I'm trying to find a page where I actually write. So basically your planner looks like this, right? And then you write your um, homework, anything, and then you have your signature and your parent's signature at the bottom. So if you had a detention, they will just write it somewhere in one of the days, the day you have the detention. And then by the time your parent is coming to sign it, they can see the detention. And as an African child, why am I getting a detention? So even though I didn't get beaten in school, it was the situation where like after you see the detention, it's like problematic at home. So yeah. Like sometimes you even have to cry to beg the teacher not to write the detention in your planner because you're still gonna get in that trouble. But in Nigeria, once you have your punishment, you have your punishment and you go. Well, that's my own opinion about it anyway. I'd rather just get beaten and go than have it on my record for however long. Because even when, um, what's it called, open day comes as well and the parents have to come in and speak to the teachers and everything, they can see how many detention you've had. And it's like... It follows you for the whole year so yeah that's another thing i'm probably not going to be able to cover everything because if i do this video will be too long but anyway yeah that's my own two cents about the the um the schooling in nigeria versus schooling in the uk and i'm just going to give the credit to this girl i saw on youtube that actually done this type of video but she she did um schooling in nigeria versus schooling in the us her name is that african chick or something like that that's where i got the idea to do this video so it wasn't actually my original idea just putting that out there before anybody come and start beefing me on the internet that i stole their content I'm saying I'm giving you the credit, I'm putting my hands up and I'm saying um, it wasn't my idea. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did leave a comment or um thumbs up this video or thumbs up. Is it thumbs up or thumbs up? But shall I like the video? Um what else? Subscribe, please. As you can see, I'm trying to build my subscribers back up. So please, if it says you haven't subscribed, please subscribe again. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.